Hi viewers, this is the Mindful Man reading a few more chapters from Ghost School. The gardener's name was Mr. Small, which was quite ironic as he was over six foot tall. He admitted that he had had an affair with the librarian and that it had been very passionate and heated. Anne spoke up. How did she die? That is a mystery, Mr. the gardener said. Tom and James noticed he was sweating and he messed with his tie as he answered each question. Well, Mr. Graves intoned, I'm a busy man. I'm sure you've all got lots to do. They headed for the canteen and over coffee, Tom and James voiced their suspicions, but the girls hadn't suspected anything. He looked shifty to me, said Tom. Yeah, he's definitely covering something up, echoed James. He knows more than he's letting on. Hang on a minute, said Anne. Hasn't he already admitted to having an affair with her? Maybe he got jealous. It wouldn't surprise me, interrupted Lucy. Men are jealous creatures, she said with a knowing wink. The next day they decided to do more research in secret in the library. Lucy and Anne looked through the school magazines and newspapers for any record of the librarian's fate. It was slow and laborious work. Tom and James acted like proper students so as to distract suspicion and had their heads buried in their books. After a good hour of searching, Anne found what they were looking for. There was a photo of the librarian with a short obituary. She had worked at the school for ten years, etc. But how did she die, said Lucy. Anne read further. Of oh, natural causes, she died in her sleep. I doubt that, said Anne. But how can we prove otherwise? interjected Lucy. Tom and James shook their heads. All we can do is keep an eye out on her, an eye on her, said Mr Graves. There's a lot more to this place than meets the eye. James and Anna went for a walk around the grounds and they held hands contentedly. They chatted about all the fun they'd had. Lucy and Anne sat on the edge of the bed, holding hands. This is a very strange place, she said. Sure is, said Tom. I never expected any of this when I passed over. In fact, I didn't expect anything. That evening came quickly and they all retired to bed. It had been a tiring and eventful day. Tomorrow would be no better as they had a history lesson to look forward to. The next day they met in the cafe. They were all rather quiet as they were all tired. Tom kept yawning loudly and James nearly nodded off in his breakfast. They sat down in the lesson half asleep. The banging of the door soon woke them and the teacher marched in confidently. He was overweight, clean-shaven, with a long black fringe and chubby red cheeks. Hope you like this chapter. Please submit.